ISTQB Foundation Level Question 42. Which activity is specific to the debugging process when static testing identifies a defect? A. Reproduction of a failure. B. Requirement elicitation. C. Diagnosis, finding the root cause. D. Removal of the identified defect. Please press pause to choose your own answer before you see the correct answer on the screen. Correct answer is D. Removal of the identified defect. According to definition of debugging in ICQB syllabus and understanding what is static testing and debugging. In static testing, defects are identified without execution the code, typically through techniques like code review, inspections, walkthroughs, or static analysis. We have already found the defect during static testing, and all we have to do is fix it during debugging activity. Let's see why the other answers are wrong. Answer A is incorrect, because since static testing directly finds defects without triggering failures, there is no need to reproduction as required in dynamic testing. In this case, we have already found the defect and we don't need to reproduction of a failure. Let's see at the answer B. Requirement elicitation is typically an early phase of the software development process where the requirements for a software system are gathered and documented. It involves activities like interviews, discussions, and analysis to understand what the software is supposed to do. When static testing identifies a defect, it usually means that a discrepancy or issue has been found in the code, design, or documentation, which may not necessarily be directly related to requirement elicitation. Debugging is process changing the code, not changing requirements. Answer C is also incorrect because we have the same situation like answer A. Since static testing directly finds defects without triggering failures, there is no need to diagnosis as required in dynamic testing. In this case, we have already found the defect and we don't need to diagnosis or finding the root cause of a failure. My recommendation. To answer such kinds of these questions, you should definitely understand what this means, static testing and debugging activities. We will definitely consider issues related to white box testing techniques in the future questions. Explanation Paula, let's look at the section 1.1.2 testing and debugging in the ICQB syllabus. We can see that first, testing can directly find defects in the test object, static testing. Two, debugging involves Reproduction of a failure, diagnosis, finding the root causes, fixing the cause. In our case, the first two activities are not suitable for us, since we have already found a defect in the code during static testing. All we have to do is fix it. Correct answer is D. I am sincerely sure that you will pass the ICQB Certified Tester Foundation Level Exam 
if you thoroughly watch through all the questions of my video channel ICQB questions. And once you dream comes true. Never give up.